What's going on everybody? Welcome back. Got some pods from the LFS. I went to uh, Saltwater Heaven. Um, picked up some pods. I have been meaning to buy some. I'm going to throw these in the uh, sump so they can have a place to reproduce. Also picked up some Redfoot snails to kind of help maintain my uh, algae and you know just do some regular maintenance. Beef up my cleaning crew. You can never go wrong with the snails. Um, the last video that I had, you could see that um, I had all kinds of red crap in my in my sump, and I ended up throwing one of the snails in there, and just to see how much uh, how much of one snail could actually eat, and kind of see if it would clean out like this thick mat of algae growing on top of the chato, you know. And I'm just gonna go ahead and show you what the little guy has done since then. It's been a couple of weeks, but. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you what the little guy has been up to. The refugium section of the tank is looking pretty good. This guy has been moving at a snail's pace, but I'm considering adding a second snail down there to not only maintain the top, but also the uh, bottom of the um, sump. Uh, the great thing about my tank is that I don't have any uh, float switches in there where it could be an issue to some of you. But for me, uh, my ELOS is just a sensor. I also ended up uh, replacing the uh, CFL bulb with an LED bulb and this uh, big piece of GSP that I have right here I uh, sold it to Pedro Navarro for 50 bucks and he gave me some frags and then I actually used that to go ahead to go to the uh, local fish store and pick up some different stuff. I ended up zip stripping a frag of that GSP that I did have put it on my live rock right there hoping that uh, it grows and it spreads all over the place on that rock. Um, this is probably the first time you've seen somebody zip strip a frag onto anything, but there's always a first. And not only that, but I heard that uh, you can super glue them onto the live rock. Be the reason I didn't is because I figured that it might slime off like um, a leather wood or a uh, mushroom because those things you cannot super glue. I ended up picking up an uh, orange cap, a green cap, and a Duncan from the LFS. And uh, some of the frags on the left hand side also got those with the trade with the GSP. That big old rock on the right is from uh, P. Navarro's tank who uh, gave that to a local reefer who stopped by my house and picked it up. So that was a pretty nice uh, thing to do of him for him. Like a lot of you guys, I'm always tinkering with my tank equipment trying to make things better. And what I decided to do with the hanging kit I actually wanted to uh, reduce the amount of space that my rails are extended um, due to the uh, way that they're anchored they're up a little bit high and what I did I went to Home Depot and ended up picking up um, the ferro set and I used the existing wire from the um, from the hanging kit so you just get that and those little things slide into the uh, wire and I'm going to show you what I ended up doing my other option was to go ahead and use nuts and bolts, washers, but I figured this way it would be a lot cleaner. And the whole cost of this was less than 10 bucks. I uh, doubled it up, as you can see. That's the old kit right there. This is the new way I'm going to fit it down to size. And then uh, I'm just going to go ahead and show you the way to do it because on the uh, set, it doesn't actually give you instructions how to do it. But uh, I, I recommend doing this. Um, and my lights have been hanging like this for a good two weeks now, so I, I don't think it's going anywhere. This was the best way to do it. Get a hammer right there and just go ahead and bang it out. Do the front side, the back side. It'll come out like a pancake. You could probably get away with just one, but the things are so cheap that I really recommend two. Um, and then at the very end, there's just like the little like emergency brake, if you, if you will. And uh, just smash it and repeat the process on both sides until you're done. So, I mean, it's really easy to do. It's pretty solid. I don't know um, how much weight it can hold, but I'm telling you my rack is heavy. The uh, Each LED is heavy. I have three of them, and then the T5s in itself are pretty light, but um, it's a lot cleaner. This is a piece of the GSP that I did have. As you can see, it's uh, opened up pretty nicely, and hopefully it grows. In a couple of weeks, a couple more weeks, I'll go ahead and cut the zip, stri zip strip, and uh, I think it should be on there pretty, pretty secure, if not already.
This is a little better look at some of the stuff that I picked up, the orange cap and the green cap. I'm just missing a purple one now, but uh, they're growing pretty nicely. Uh, and I would say that they're doing that because of the addition of the new light bulbs and the combination of the blue LEDs. Uh, once again, if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. But in short, I added the T5s just to get that full color spectrum. Um, another fry that's doing real good is that bird's nest and then those blue sympodiums, I think. Blue culvers, whatever you want to call them. They're really dark blue and they're really starting to take off. Um, also, ended up moving my uh, frog spawn up a little bit. And I moved my frog spawn because it was burning the heck out of my uh, sun coral. And it looks a little bit happier there. I didn't know that the frog spawn had such a vicious bite. But if you just look at the sun coral right there, you can kind of see it uh, browned out. And also my uh, hammer coral right there is starting to come back in color. I had it on a piece of Tonga branch. Uh, and I applied it with the, um, you know, that little putty, the, the white strip of putty and that green strip of putty that you mix together. Um, I actually don't recommend using that to hold heavy stuff because everything that I've had on there has just fallen off. So, you know, if, if you're going to use that putty for something light, um, then I would say use it. But if not, go ahead and get a, some better put type of putty, maybe that Elos or um, actually not Elos, it's the Tunzi putty that they sell on uh, Bulk Reef Supply. Be wrapping up this video here shortly, but I wanted to show you one more thing with the T5s. Um, my frags are all looking pretty good. There's a piece of my Duncan coral that I had picked up, but everything's looking good. One of the uh, amazing thing is my corals that had faded just because of being burned from the LEDs, the intensity of the LEDs. Some of those corals are coming back, and uh, that's a huge plus. I actually had some zoas that had turned white. You know, they were dark when I got them, then they actually turned white. But I wanted to show you um, some purple deaths that I have. Uh, they had turned completely clear. And I'm going to zoom in on this frag right now, but it's already, it's turned purple again. It's pretty great. Um, I've never seen a coral do that. I don't know about you guys, but it, this is not just the only coral that I had that got ruined. Because either I didn't light acclimate, acclimate it right, or just got burnt out. But I have these purple discs. I have some nuclear greens right there. And there's the proof. Right next to that white um, nuclear green is a bright, dark green one. So, uh, you know, T5s, man. T5s, just to supplement your LED systems, consider it. But anyways, guys, uh, thanks for watching. I know this is a long video. One of the longer ones I did, but I threw some shout-outs in the video for you guys. Check out those other subscribers. And if you haven't done so already, you guys, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and uh, help my channel grow. Thanks a lot, guys, and thanks for watching. Take care.